I'm going to show you guys everything you need to do to 100% every mission and submission in the level Go Adventuring in the Land of Confections that is a part of the Yamato Adventures episode pack. We're going to try to 100% the Whole Cake Island uh, special log. So, we're going to defeat this commander right here. And then a one to the south. So we're going to go down here. Okay, now we're going to go over here to the southeast, we're going to trigger raise you to spawn. So just kind of stand around in the center here so it'll come up. If you kill people too fast, kind of have to wait for the dialogue to catch up. This is how the game is. Okay, Reishi spawned up. Surprisingly tanky, I don't know what's up with her, but okay, on to the next. So now we're going to defeat Parasparrow. And we're only defeating Parasparrow. Try not to defeat any named enemies or like health bar enemies. Like, unless like I mention it basically. If you're following this guy. Okay, so as soon as Parasparrow is done, we're going to move to Zone 4 and defeat the commander at the start of the woods. And I believe he kind of lures you in, anyways. So just walk into the woods. Once we defeat him, it should trigger the Luffy, uh, fake Luffy event. So now we're going to move to Zone 5A. So where's the first fake Luffy? So we gotta wait for the fake Luffy to spawn. It's a lot of downtime if you go to it too fast. But it's saying it wants me to take out this one. So I don't think it really matters what order you beat these loopies in. I think you just simply just have to beat the mission. So if you just defeat these loopies and just keep opening up the woods, you just gotta find the real brule, really. So just keep defeating as many of them as you can. And I'm gonna wrap back around and defeat this one over here. Well, actually, that might be the real one. Did the woods open on this side? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we just gotta defeat the real one. That's all that matters. And it looks like the one with the circle, if I'm right, this one has like a cer red circle inside of the white circle, where the other ones have triangles. So I think this is the real one. Okay, so that was the real Bruli. So the real Bruli has a red dark circle in the middle of her white icon, while the other ones have red diamonds in the center. So once we do that, we're going to run out north and we're going to rescue Carrot by triggering an event. So we're going to run out north here and then make a quick left turn. And there's Carrot. So it looks like you just gotta stand in the ring and then just speed up this guy and it's good to go. We're gonna run out and uh, defeat Smoothie next. Beat Smoothie, but do not beat any of the uh, commanders. So that guy, you gotta pass him. You cannot damage this guy. You can't damage this guy either. But there's Smoothie, so we gotta keep keep Smoothie away from the other characters. Okay, now that Smoothie is gone, 
I believe all we have to do next is just finish off the remaining commanders. So let's defeat these two guys. Okay. Now we are going to move to phase two of the level. So first we're going to run over to the north side of the mission. Or the level. So there's going to be three commanders in this top area. And again, you got to wait for the, the dialogue in the game to kind of catch up to everything we've been doing. Okay, so those three commanders on the north side are the ones we wanted to be. Okay, we gotta hurry up and defeat this last commander on the north side. So that will make our third one, then we gotta go after Cracker next. Okay, so they're all defeated. I'm gonna go into gear 5. So, Cracker is our next objective. Run out loud, can I? This guy's a tank. Okay, out of the way. Okay, now that we defeat Cracker, we're gonna go defeat Katakuri. And he should spawn over here. And there he is. Okay, now we're going to defeat a commander with a 300 hit count, and he spawns over here. Okay, so this guy's gonna spawn up. You gotta make sure you don't kill him before you get the 300. Okay, there we go. Should have counted. Yep, there we go. Success. So 300 hit count. Now we're gonna move all the way back to the south side where we met Riju earlier. We're gonna go back over there and the rest of the bin smokes are gonna spawn. So all of Sanji's brothers will spawn once you go back to this zone. You're gonna have to defeat all three of them. Oops, I missed my attack. This might actually still hit him though. I missed. Okay. okay, once all three Vinsmoke siblings are defeated, it says if he ran past the objective 6 commander, he will run in there to be beaten up at the same time as them to save some time. Okay, so this guy right here, we want to beat him. So 
so defeat so if you haven't defeated the commander that I just defeated, he spawns over here. He's gonna spawn over here on this kind of back and forth staircase area. Get some extra points if you get the items. So now we're gonna go complete objective seven, which is actually getting the last commander here, and this is gonna trigger the map search. This will start phase three. This should be the last commander. If you've done everything right, the same way I have, this should be the last guy you have to defeat. Okay. I'm gonna turn into Gear 5 Luffy so I can just speed my way over there. So the messenger already spawned. So there's the messenger. So after you do that last mission I did, you might want to head over here early. Okay. So then we're going to defeat the commander in zone 2. Okay, so we're going to defeat the commander down here. Now we're going to go after Pair of Sparrow. He should spawn in the most southwestern zone. Okay, here's serious Pair of Sparrow, so he's going to get him real quick. Okay, he is gone. Now we are going to go to... Back to where we spawned in at the beginning of the game. And we're going to... We're going to defeat the commander in the most south side of the zone. So defeat the commander. Okay. Defeat the commander. And then we're going to defeat Judge. So we're going to run over here into the Germa Kingdom again. The Germa ship, whatever you want to call it. Judge should spawn in. There he goes. I just got to defeat him now. Okay. Once the judge is defeated, defeat the commanders. There are two or three in a highlighted area. Uh, defeated them will spawn serious Katakuri. So, we are not defeating Big Mom yet. We are not defeating Big Mom yet. We're gonna go right past her and we're gonna defeat all the commanders. There's just three more. There's one in the center of the map and there's kind of two more on like the northeast side of the map, still kind of central. Let's get right past Big Mom. I'm not gonna capture the zone yet. Okay. All the commanders have been defeated, and I believe that will spawn Sirius Katakuri, so we're gonna have to defeat Sirius Katakuri now. There he is. Looks like he spawns on the most northern side of the map. Okay.
Okay. Serious Katakuri defeated. Now we're gonna go back to Big Mom. And we're gonna. Oh, it looks like while we're here. Uh. This is. I'll find a go to so you capture the zone, Katakuri, block the zone, capture the leader. Okay, so when we defeat Katakuri, we also want to capture the zone. So we want to capture the zone at the same time. Okay, now that we defeat Katakuri, serious Katakuri, and capture the zone, we're going to go back over here, and we're going to defeat Big Bomb and capture that zone too. I'm turn to gear 5 Luffy for this. And you can't capture the zone unless you beat both the leader and Big Mom, so it doesn't really matter what order you're doing it. So he's gone. Let me just go over to Big Mom. She should be in the most southern side of the map. Okay. Now that Big Mom is defeated, this will capture the last zone that we need to get. And this will trigger serious Big Mom to spawn in at the wedding venue. Ceremony, or wherever they want to call this. Okay. Um, just make your way over there, there's really nothing else to do. So once you head over here, just wait for Big Mom to spawn in. Should be the serious version of herself. So, if everything we've done so far has been done correctly, once we defeat her, it should trigger a special ending. Okay, so we did everything correctly. So if you can still punch and kick, that's usually a good sign. Once it like locks your abilities. So right there, Katakuri, Big Mom, and Judge appeared. So we need to defeat all three of them in order to get the final ending. Or the secret ending, whatever you want to call it. And this will complete every mission for this level. Uh, I think the fastest way is to go this way. I'm gonna head down through this bridge. And cut west. Doesn't matter who you beat in what order, you just gotta defeat all three of them. That was it. I did nothing. Okay, here we go. This one should do a lot of damage. Okay, big mom's defeated. Kagura should be weak. Just be pretty weak, yeah. Okay. That's it. That's how you get the secret ending and complete every mission for this level. And that will be the whole Cake Island uh, adventure log. I guess it's called a special log. Yeah. Whole Cake Island adventure special log. I think that's what it's called. But that's it. So I gotta do. So we'll go out and uh, check our uh, credit screen here. So there we go. We got every single mission completed. And we got over 15,000 scores. So we will get the maximum rewards. And we got every mission complete.
So we're gonna head over to look at our rewards. We got everything here. So we got tons of skill souls, small, medium, and large, and heart uh, health souls, which is really good. Get a lot of coins. If you're gonna grind souls, maxing out the level and getting the final rewards is the best way to grind souls. And playing the special log is the only way to, to do that, to have that ability. Completing every mission basically guarantees that you get every soul in the game, or every soul uh, reward. If you guys need help on another level from the Yamato Adventure Pack, check out my other videos.